when it comes to someone applying the rapé to someone else. Um, uh, this is, for me, is a bit tricky to speak about this because I know how some people are um, attached to certain ideas. Um, from my experience, yeah, from my experience, what I've encountered and experienced with, with, with other people. Yeah? So, for instance, some people come and tell me, yeah, I know rapé and I've been giving it to other people and this, 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 this and that. Yeah? Um, uh, it's okay, I'm not judging. But then, of course, then they come into the ceremonial space. Yeah? And I apply the rapé to them. And they go in like, whoa. Yeah? And they have a full-blown experience where it's, sometimes it's not, it's not so pleasant because there's a, a huge attachment with the ideas that we have about ourselves. And what I'm talking about is that the rapé blows itself into the other person. Yeah? So let's, let's illustrate it. So this is the applicator when you're blowing into other people. Yeah? Same applies. You put some rapé into your hand. And as I said before, especially when it's a ceremony and when I am applying to someone else, this is, um, for me, is, 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 is a structure, yeah? So um, there's the incense, the incense is clearing the space, is setting my space, is helping the, the client or the, the other being to step into that space. So stuff is already, that it needs to be shown or it needs to be cleared, it's already, I say, cooking, yeah? So there's the, the, the fumes of the incense going, so I place my hand, yeah? As I said before, fill the tube. The other guy, by this time, has stopped breathing in terms of inhaling or exhaling. It's just going underwater, yeah? Put it in the nostrils and you blow, yeah? So this is the part where I want to highlight a lot. The most important thing is that the guy who is blowing yeah, has to be as much as possible, yeah, as much as possible within our capacity, um, released from your own mental noise, my own mental noise. Very simple. If I'm in my full identification with the ideas that I have about myself, of being this or being that, yeah? And sometimes it could be, I, I'm speaking from my experience because I was one of these guys, yeah? That I identified of being with a shaman and I can heal someone and I have a lot of things to offer to other people. In that case, I'm sorry to say it, I was just blowing my own projections into the other human being, yeah? And there's no healing it. Then again, it's not the end of the world, no one is going to die and I don't want to make it dramatic just to lay things on the table yeah and be clear about it so the less noise of me doing juju stuff and other things especially if i don't know what i'm doing yeah especially when it comes to other people yeah it's it's much simpler and cleaner if you don't get so much involved into it so you just slow yourself down put some incense maybe some perfume apply the rapé and that's it. And the rapé will take care of itself, you know? I, I mean, by the end of the day, you know, it's very simple the way I see it. Rapé has been on the planet for thousands of years, yeah? These guys, the, the tribe has been using it and there's a long tradition about it, yeah? So surely the rapé knows much more than me. So if I step outside of the way and I let the rapé do its own way, yeah? For sure, it will be better than I get involved into it. Yeah? So I'll just be, for, 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 for the word's sake, I'll be just an instrument as much as the applicator. Yeah? And keep things clean.